Hello YouTubers, this video is a small lesson on how to address specific areas in the tag and access those areas by the mean of memory slice. What is memory slice? Let's imagine that you have a loaf of bread. You do slice it into smaller pieces and those smaller pieces you can slice into much smaller and so on. Memory slicing is a very similar method. Let's dive a little bit into the theory. Memory slicing is the partitioning of memory area into smaller memory area or the division of a memory area like byte, word, double word into smaller memory areas. Slicing allows to access areas that are addressed in declared tags. The width of those uh, areas are as follows 1 bit, 8 bit, 16 bits and 32 bits. Okay, now let's have a look at uh, those uh, parts or how to say areas that I have talked about. Okay, here we have those areas and now let's have a look at the syntax. So here we have a talk name, okay, then it goes dot, then goes percent sign, then goes ID and the number. Okay. ID represents a data type, so X stands for bit, B stands for byte, W stands for word, D stands for double word. All right. And addressing of uh, those areas looks like that. So here is a uh, bit 25 of tag. 14th bit of tag. This is second byte. All right. This is byte number zero. This is word number one. Word zero. And double word. Okay, so one more time. X stands for bit, B for byte, W for word, and D stands for double word. Okay, we have done with the uh, theory, so let's go a little bit to practice. For that purpose, create a new project with a 1200 series CPU. After that, create a function block. I have named it as slice. Open the interface of this block. And here we have a m area variable is data type of double word. Okay, so this stack or memory area is to be sliced into smaller memory areas. Then create two words, four bytes, and array of uh, 32 bits. Okay. Let's go to our code. So, as you already understood, looking at our newly created variables, so first region, in first region I'm going to uh, um, slice our memory into two words, okay, so this is how it looks like. I'm assigning word number zero of m area to s word zero and uh, word number one of m area to s word number one. Second region is used to slice our double word uh, tag into four bytes. Okay, and uh, the Third region is used to slice our double word into array of uh, 32 bits. Okay, for, th for that reason, I have used a function scatter. Okay, this function uh, parses uh, the bit segments into individual bits. Okay, basically, it dissembles 
a type of type byte, word, double word or long word, data types into individual bits and save them in an array of bits. In our case, it disassembles a type of uh, type double word. Right. Our function block is finished, so now just drag and drop it in the main OB. Okay. Save everything and upload to the CPU, or you can use a simulator. It's up to you. If you don't have a hardware, you can use a simulator. Now, for testing purposes, I have created a watch table. So here we have uh, our main area that is going main memory area that is going to be sliced into smaller pieces here are two words uh, and uh, those words represent uh, our main area sliced uh, into word number zero and number one these four bytes represents bytes of our main area and here we have a 32 bits all right now let's go on hi oh, I see that I already have something here let's let's modify everything to zero okay so it's empty now all bits are false bytes are zero words are zero Okay, now let's try something. Now all bits should be on. Okay, we have all bits on. Here are all four bytes and our words. Result is actually is the same as here. Here are bytes, 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 words, words, and bits. Let's try to change to something else. Okay. We have a different result. Here is how slicing works. Okay, now I'm going to use this uh, slice, slicing method in real example. So for that I am going to control uh, Mitsubishi VFD as a slave on the Profibus network. Okay, for that purpose I have created a two PLC data types one is for um, uh, status data from our slave and another one is for control bits that will be sent to our slave again create a function block and in the interface of the function block in the inputs I have two integer type variables status and control here will be uh, here will be assigned a address address of uh, our slave okay those are control bits this one is a speed setting okay here I'm going to store the data from uh, from our slave so uh, status bits and uh, current speed and here I'm going to store uh, control bits 
that will be sent to our VFD and here is speed setting. In the temporary area I have created a double word of TMP data. Here I'm going to save unsliced data that are coming from uh, our VFD. Okay, I'm going to uh, adjust it and send it back to our slave. Now let's have a look at the code. So first of all, I am assigning the data from uh, from the VFD. Here I'm using uh, function peak double word. Okay, uh, this function reads a double word reference by byte offset of uh, the input memory area. Okay. Then I'm going to scatter uh, our memory area of uh, word number one into uh, bits. Okay, and uh, word number one I'm going assign to our speed. Okay, then I'm going to assign uh, uh, our control bits and in control input, uh, sorry, control uh, bits of uh, function block inputs to the control data. Okay, also speed. Okay, and gather it in the TMP data, which will be sent uh, to our VFD. Oh, VFD as a, as a Profibus slave. Okay, so this function gather it uh, simply comply, uh, combines uh, those uh, bits, uh, array of bits into a uh, into a bit string and uh, peak function function peak oh sorry function talk um, writes memory address to uh, standard memory area without uh, specifying a data type in our case i do write a double word to specify it output array okay so now our function is finished again drag and drop it on the on the on the in, into the ob1 assign status and control i will show you where you can find it so just open device configuration Find your slave. And here you have the addresses. So starting address in my case it is 61 68, sorry. You might have something else here, it's it's up to you. But you need to know this number. Okay. Okay. For test purpose, I have made a uh, watch table, right? And uh, this watch table is divided into three parts. First one is for um, control input data for a function block. Here I have a status data that will be stored from a frequency converter and here is a control data that will be sent to our frequency converter okay let's go online and I have already one active bit which uh, shows that my VFD is in network operation mode which means that I can start to control it uh, by the means of the profit bus Okay, now let's enable it 
enables the, the PSD bit and gives something like 50 hertz of speed. Okay. And let's try to run our VFD forward. Okay, it's already running. Here I can see that current uh, status of the VFD is 50 hertz. Current speed, sorry. Okay, it shows that it's running forward. This one, this bit says that it's inverter is running and that there is output frequency detected. Okay, let's stop now. Okay, it's stopping. All bits are gone. Now let's try reverse. Okay, again, I have a bit on that output frequency is detected. Also, inverter is running, but now direction is is a reverse. Okay, let's stop it again. Yeah, it's stopping. It stopped fully. Now let's try to run again. Forward. Okay, so it's running 50 hertz. Let's try to change this speed. This time I'm going to reduce it to 24, uh, sorry, to 25. Okay, speed is reducing. Now let's give it something more. Okay, speed is increasing. Looks like our function works well. I have showed you the very basic of the memory slicing. Thank you for watching.